It's the most exciting camp I've been to, and I've been to quite a few camps. I wanted to be a computer programmer, but now this, all of the things that we've been shown, I'm gonna probably go home and probably look at different jobs now. We do a lot more stuff with vegetation and how important vegetation is in the role of a range environment, and I didn't really expect that. What about this? Oh, this thing. Um, the oyster plant, or goat's beard. Yep. South Safai. <laughs> Our society is connected with information and communication technology that has created a world few could have ever imagined. But with that, there is a disconnection from the land we live on and the natural resources that sustain us. But once a year, a group of high school students from all over Nevada follow a tradition decades old and disconnect from the world they know to connect and learn about the world they don't know. This camp has been going on for, I believe, 57 years now. It started off as a boys only camp that was really geared towards ranchers' sons, and it's evolved through the years as society has evolved and as the need has evolved. And so we gear it now towards any high school aged kid in Nevada. We have kids that come here not caring anything about resource management or the country and the state they live in, and they go away knowing a basic of resource management. And that educated public, whether it's a high school kid or what, makes a lot of difference when you go and try and do management on public lands. They have a basis to understand what you might be trying to do, and it means a lot to me.